Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for your patience as we adjust to the technical difficulties we have. We apologize. We are so excited to get started tonight. My name is Melissa Duport. I am the contest chair and the Central South Division Governor. We appreciate everyone coming out to support our very brave contestants tonight. Most of all, let's give it a round of applause for our contestants. Toastmaster for the evening. Please give Amy a round of applause. It is on, right? Yes. First, the most important thing is to pick up this guy. Make sure, double check, look at it again, either it's on silence or if you're not sure how to put it, on silent, just turn it off. That's the easiest first. Double check again. And we'll right along, recognize our dignitaries and the district officers. As I read the name, would you please stand and remain stand, hold the pause until we get everybody. Okay? To start out, we have, and I'm following the sequence here, is that right, Melissa? The officers. Oh, okay. Lieutenant Governor Education and Training, Donna Weston. We hold the pause. We have immediate past District Governor Joe Moore. Logistic Chair Don Williams. Central South Division Governor Melissa Newport. Central North Division Governor Charles Chapman. North Division Governor Lydia. Sawyer, South Division Governor Lee Jones, B-15 Area Governor Adia Lin Linka, sorry. We have Central 23rd Area Governor Rachel Muhammad, South 55 Area Governor Lillian Shepard, East 64 Area Governor Barbara Brackley. And we have immediate, let's see, 2003 and 2004 Charles Brooks past District Governor. And you have me, Area Governor, too. <laughs> Give everybody a big hand. Is this anybody? Oh, Paul Williams, please stand up. Larry Joytner, Area Governor, B-14. Okay. Rachel Clark, Area Governor, B-17. Yes, and? Dwayne Jackson, Area Governor, B-16. Oh, Dwayne, thank you. Oh, wow. Contest and the international speech contest. The first contest will be the table topic contest. When the contest is concluded, we will have a 10 minute break. After the break, we will conduct the international speech contest. Contestants, timers, ballot counters, and sergeant at arms all have been briefed prior to the beginning of this contest. Everyone is aware of the international. Toastmasters International Rules that govern this contest. No one should enter or leave the room during the contestant's presentation. You may do so if the time permits during the minute of silence between the presentations. Thank you. With that said, let the contest begin! <laughs> Our 
I will give the speaking order of the contestants for the table topics. Instead of giving you all different names and you run around trying to look for the name, I'm just going to give you the name as they appear in alphabetical order. So all you have to do in the speaking order, you just have to write down the number. Okay? Number five, seven, I'll, I'll read the name. Five, Kay Anderson. Seven, Sharid Haywood. Number one is Jean Levesque. Number four, Kevin Piccolo. Number two, Kate Reinerson. Number six, Lily Simmons. Number three, Theodore Travis. So I'll read the number one more time, just to double check. Five, seven, one, Four, two, six, three. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mr. Sergeant at Arms, would you please escort all the contestants out of the room except our very first contestant, which will be Jean Lebeck. All the contestants are out of the room except Jim Lebeck. We're ready to hear from our Table Topics contestant. There will be a minute of silence between each contestant. Timekeeper, when I advise you to do so, please signal me with a green light when one minute is up. After all contestants have spoken, the judges will be given all the time they need to complete the ballot. We will begin the Table Topic Contest. Contestant number one, Jim Levesque. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Jim Levesque. many superheroes, Superman, Wolverine, Cyclops, but you know what? I'm going to pick a new superhero none of you have ever even heard about. The superhero who can control the weather. <laughs> That's all I need. All I want to be able to do is make it stop snowing outside. I want some warmth. I want to be able to look up see that snow cloud coming in and say, you know what? Boom! <laughs> Stay back. It's sunny outside, and I'm going to head to the beach. I know. It sounds so simple, but really, that's all I need to be happy. I don't need to destroy things, to fly somewhere. Why do I need to fly somewhere when I can control the weather? I can make Lake Michigan like South Beach in Miami, or Cancun, for example. <laughs> I don't need to be able to fight anyone, because guess what? Everyone's happy. <laughs> so yes, there are so many different superheroes you could go down the path and pick. But you know what? I am a proponent of simplicity and of happiness, and most of all, of being born. <laughs> We have one minute of silence, timekeeper, while the judges mark their ballot.
Thank you. Contestant number two, Kate Rynerson. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Kate Rynerson. superhero, which is great and all, but they went over all the different comparisons between superheroes. On one hand, you have Superman, who's really, really strong and totally impenetrable, but at the same time, he can see through walls, so you can't get away with anything. <laughs> but, as the person having the superpower, how freaking cool would it be <laughs> if you could see through walls? Whoa. On top of that, you can't get hurt, and you can fly, and you're disgustingly strong. <laughs> they went through the others, you know, you've got Spider-Man who can climb on walls. <laughs> Ultimately though, I'd have to go with Superman. Being able to fly means guess what? If you jump out of this building right now, you don't fall. You can just fly away. You can fly to the top. And I have to tell you, I did the stair climb for this building. Being able to fly up those 103 flights would have been awesome. I got to tell you, you get to level 10, and, and they're like, oh, yay, you're 10% of the way there. And Contestant number three, Theodore Trivers. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Theodore Trivers. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and distinguished guests, if I had a superpower, which one would that be? I tell you right off the bat, it would be the power to persuade people's mind. Because right now, I'll be telling all the judges, Theo is first place. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why, because most of our most influential people have that ability. They take sad people, make them happy. Happy people and make them angry. I can get out of so many arguments 
with my significant other. My boss? Do what? How about I persuade you to let me take the next two weeks off and you pay me with your stuff? <laughs> my daughter? I don't have to entertain her to clean up her room. I just tell her, hey, it's a great thing to clean up your room and you don't get paid for it. She thinks she needs to be paid for everything she does. But that sense of persuasion would help out with that. My mom, I would have never got in trouble as a kid. And I did everything from A to Z. Everything is, Theo's a good kid. Be happy. He did a great job. And I hope with this magic power that I have right now, you guys are more inclined to listen to me and making the right choice because Theo <laughs> is number one. <laughs> One minute of silence, please. Thank you. We will take this back to that. Thank you. Contestant number four, Kevin Piccolo. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Kevin Piccolo. took me back when I was about six years old, Transformers. I love Transformers. You might not think that's a, that's a superhero, but in my mind, Optimus Prime was by far my superhero when I was six years old. He can transform not only well into a gun, but transform back into a semi. Those two things as a six-year-old, I, I wouldn't necessarily say guns, but definitely trucks. <laughs> my favorite things. So I would have to say Optimus Prime was my superhero at six years old, and guns being not part of it, but definitely the, the truck aspect. Um, thank you. Thank you. 
Contestant number five, Kate Anderson. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Kate Anderson. superhero, I would be Superman. Why would I be Superman? Because I think it would be fun to fly through the air and lift things that are so strong that you could never even imagine it in everyday life. And the reason that I would want to use those powers, have those powers and use those powers is to help bring the world all together and become more peaceful. So even though it sounds cliche, I really would want to use those superpowers to make the world a better place while having fun. Can you imagine flying next to a Boeing 737, looking in the window and waving hello? <laughs> well, on your way to help, you know, a cat out of a tree. <laughs> I think we all actually have a superpower within us. And so this question makes you think and say, what power do I have to bring a person something better in their life and make their day a little bit better, whether it's a smile or a little wave, that could be a superpower in someone else's life. So again, if I was a superhero, I would be Superman. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number six, Lily Seaman. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Lily Seaman. <laughs> I would definitely want to use my power of flight for good, and I think Superman comes to mind as one of those superheroes that can fly. Probably a bunch of other ones, Wonder Woman and all that, but Superman I think is the oldest, most iconic of the superheroes, and I would want to be that kind of a history maker. Faster than a speeding bullet, all of that x-ray vision, what else does Superman have? 
he doesn't have a lasso of truth like Wonder Woman. To me, that's a little hokey. So, <laughs> <laughs> around this robe, it would be golden, people would tell the truth. Not that great. I'd rather catch people while they're telling lies and get them back to jail immediately. <laughs> So, if I were a superhero, I would apply Superman as opposed to Wonder Woman, and definitely not, I don't have a definitely not, definitely <laughs> Superman. <laughs> remain silent while the judges complete their ballot and have them collected. Do we have one more? Yes. <laughs> Trying to catch up here. Right. Six. Seven. Okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah. My apologies. Contestant number seven, Cherie Haywood. Number seven, Cherie Haywood. If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? If you could be a superhero, which superhero would you be and why? Cherie Haywood.
have been collected. Thank you. Now we will hear from our Central South Division Governor. Donna. Oh, okay, great. We're going to have our tenure of education. Donna Watson. our clock, our watch, what time do you have? What time do you have? 6.59, so let's come back at 7.10, get 11 minutes. 